Greetings brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I want to share with you some words that will give you great encouragement. But before I do, I want to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He came in the flesh. He died on a cross for your sins and for mine. He lived a very perfect life and died so that you can be saved and your sins are forgiven. He rose again after three days defeated hell in the grave, and he is God, and he delivered us from eternal death. I want to share a passage of scripture and then share the word the Lord gave me about the joy that awaits those who are waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in the rapture. Jesus is coming soon. Psalms 36, 5 through 12, and here is what it says. Listen carefully as it may answer some questions you have. Here, here it is. Chapter 36, verse 5. Your mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the great mountains. Your judgments are a great deep. O Lord, you preserve man and beast. How precious is your loving kindness O oh God, therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings. They are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your pleasures. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. O oh, continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked drive me away. There is, There the workers of iniquity have fallen. They have been cast down and are not able to rise. That is the scripture. Notice in the scripture that he mentions clouds, animals, and his river. People have commented in that chat on these things. Read this chapter for yourself, Psalms 36, and listen to what he says about it. There are so many promises of the love and mercy of God for those who love him. I want to share this word that he gave me and feel free to test all the words. Those of you who are waiting, you are living in the most exciting time in history. Here's what I felt he said. My children, the sound of the trumpet will soon split the sky and your heart will yearn for the love you carry to be joined with me. The new creation is my creation of my sons and daughters, cleansed by sacrifice and covenanted to me. You will rise just as the disciples saw you, me rise through the clouds, and you will enter the glorious presence of heaven. My ch children, keep your hearts tender. The world and all the plans of the enemy are trying to distract you from the joyous event which is unfolding for my bride. There is no more time, my children. Heaven awaits. Hearts who have waited for the love of their Savior will expand with such joy. There will be a celebration as never before in history. God will sing over his beloved people. His love will surround them like a universe of stars, light, and life. My love is pure and joyous and will renew your lives to the moment that I created you with the plans I had for you. They will all be fulfilled. My bride, a great day awaits you of celebration and joyous reunion. Keep your garments white, stay humble, and keep your eyes fixed on me. I am coming to receive you into myself. The tenderness and love of your heart bring me great glory, great joy. Wait with expectation, time is up. Be diligent to guard your hearts from fear and deception. Stay close in my presence, in my garments of righteousness. Hear and see what I am doing. The enemy's plans are not above me. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. And that's from Psalms 37, 4. That is what I felt he said. If you are a believer, look up. 
Jesus is coming for you and joy and fulfillment await you. If you don't know him, it's time. His time is no more, which in his realm could be any second or a very short time such as days or months. Ask Jesus to forgive you and accept his sacrifice on the cross for your sins. Don't spend eternity away from Jesus. He loves you and gives everything for you. Just pray and completely surrender your life to him. He is coming quickly. Brothers and sisters, time is wrapping up for us. Stay tender, stay focused on Jesus, and be excited. Jesus is coming for you. See you soon in heaven. This is Linda from Simple Help Now.